Welcome to Boxing Evolution's Fighting Fit course. In this presentation we cover all the different aspects of physical fitness so that you can compete in boxing or MMA and fight to the best of your ability. Let's take a look. What is physical fitness? Physical fitness can be defined as the ability of the body systems to cope with the demands placed upon them. The more efficiently the body copes, the fitter the person is said to be. This basically means that the body's use of energy becomes more efficient. What are energy systems? Energy systems are the body's different systems for producing the energy it requires. What is energy? Energy is defined as the ability to do work. Energy comes in many different forms, heat, light, sound, mechanical, electrical, chemical and nuclear energy are all examples. Energy will be in either one of two categories, potential or kinetic. Potential energy. This is energy that is stored. This energy only becomes active once it has been released. An example of potential energy is a coiled up spring held down, down by a weight. Kinetic energy. This is energy that is in motion. This energy has already been released. An example of kinetic energy is when a snooker ball hits another snooker ball, causing it to move. The law of conservation of energy. Scientists state that the conservation of energy is not saving energy. The law states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. When we use energy, it doesn't disappear. We simply change it from one form to another. An example is that a car uses petroleum, which is chemical energy, to drive by turning it into kinetic energy through combustion. Energy efficiency. Energy efficiency is the amount of usable energy you get from a system. A perfect energy efficient machine would convert all the energy put into it into useful work. Not a probable dream. Conversion of energy always involves loss of usable energy. An example is that a car not only creates motion but sound and heat too. Energy in boxing. Energy is what our bodies use to function. The more energy a boxer has, the more he can do in the ring when he is boxing. What does the body use for energy? The body uses potential chemical energy to perform all of its different functions. The chemical that the body uses is called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP for short. Whether we're doing a long distance run or one quick explosive movement, the body uses ATP. When requiring energy, one phosphate molecule is split from the ATP, releasing energy forming adenosine diphosphate, or ADB, ADP for short. However, the body stores only a small quantity of this energy currency within the cells and it's enough to power just a few seconds of all our exercise. So the body must replace or resynthesize ATP on an ongoing basis. This turns ADP into ATP. This process is known as phosphorylization. To replenish the stores of ATP, chemical processes are used. These are known as the energy systems. The three energy systems. The three different energy systems are aerobic, this means with oxygen, anaerobic, this means without oxygen, PCR, ATP, creatine phosphate, adenosine triphosphate. We will cover all of these in more detail in the future videos. Fitness is improved by gradually increasing the demands placed on the body systems by means of a specific exercise program or training schedule. The body system will then adapt and fitness would increase. The more stress the body is subjected to, the more it will adapt, and the fitter, stronger and faster the person will become. The Principles of Training Number 1. The Principle of Overload To become more efficient, the body systems have to be overloaded or worked harder than normal. Overload can be achieved by increasing intensity, i.e. heavier weights or faster running, increasing frequency, i.e training more often but not more intensely, increasing duration, i.e. each training session is made longer. Overload training must not be done daily, there has to be a break in between sessions. The principle of progression. The body cannot become fit overnight, it can only become progressively fitter. Training must also be progressive, i.e. the first few sessions should be fairly easy and then progressively become harder. The principle of specificity. Training will only improve those parts of the body being trained. 
Cross-country running will improve cardiovascular fitness but will do nothing for arm strength. In other words, training must be specific to the energy system being trained. When training for a specific event, an athlete must work specifically on the type of fitness required for that event. For example, in boxing you're doing three times three minute rounds which involves high level cardio, anaerobic bursts and the ATP PCR uh, system when needed too. So you're actually working all of the energy systems in there. The principle of reversibility. Just as the body adapts to more stress by becoming fitter, so also does it adapt to less stress by becoming unfit, i.e. it becomes less efficient at coping with the demands of exercise. This reversibility of fitness happens quickly. It only takes three to four weeks for a trained athlete to become unfit. Components of physical fitness. Physical phys fitness consists of stamina, strength, speed, and power is actually a combination of strength and speed, skill, in this case motor skill, suppleness, and recovery. The first component we're going to talk about is stamina. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and have learned something from it. There are six more videos on fighting fitness and all will be available to watch for free on the website which is www.boxingevolution.tv. Thank you for watching and see you next time.